Hey guys, this is Sports with Dylan. Man, wow. I am currently filming this at quarter after seven and it is still light out. What a joy. It is so much easier to get the lighting set up when it's just light out because it's all natural. I do not have one light on right now and it looks so much better than when I have to turn all these lights on. Anyways, got a bit off topic there. Debo Samuel has requested a trade from the San Francisco 49ers. So recently, you have probably heard trade rumors of a lot of people, specifically receivers, drafted in the 2019 NFL Draft. That's because they're now in the stage of the rookie contract where they can get an extension, which means they immediately want massive extensions. And you've heard rumors about pretty much all the receivers. DK Metcalf is the only one of the main four receivers draft that year that's not holding out a voluntary minicamp. Even still, there's rumors surrounding him. AJ Brown and Terry McLaurin are both holding out, but not as bad as Debo Samuel, who has gone as far as to request a trade. Now, if you ask him, or more specifically his agent, They'll just say that it's because he doesn't like how he's being used in Kyle Shanahan's offense, more specifically as a running tool. It was quite interesting last year how Kyle Shanahan would use him. He was very good in the run game, so he was a receiving and running threat. But according to the agent, Debo doesn't like that. And it wouldn't shock me if that's true. But... It's also part of the contract. Trust me. If the 49ers went out and gave him a huge offer, he would take in a second. Even if he doesn't want to play for Kyle Shanahan, all that stuff, he just wants money. All in all. Now, I do believe, though, that it's possible he also doesn't like being used as a running back. But he more wants money from this. And he wants an excuse to not say he really wants a big contract extension. Now the issue with this though, is that Debo Samuel has refused to negotiate for a new contract. Because of his not liking of being used as a running back. So, since that's the case, this could cause a bit of an issue for the 49ers trying to get him a new contract. They've got to hope eventually he sucks it up and comes in and then they can negotiate with him. That's what they're hoping. But it is possible he does get traded. In which case, it's most likely he goes to one of these destinations. First off, they're in pretty much every possible receiver trade rumor. The Green Bay Packers. Why? Because they trade away Devontae Adams and don't have another receiver that could possibly make up for him or is even mediocre, so they need a new number one receiver. Debo Samuel would fill that role quite nicely. No, he's no Devontae Adams, but he's still pretty good. Another good destination would be the Kansas City Chiefs. Similar reason, except fill every time I said Devontae Adams with Tyree Kill. And also the Chiefs is a lesser need given that they have Juju Smith-Schuster, McCall Hardman, and Marquez Valdez-Scantling, all better than the Packers' number one option currently. And they also have Travis Kelsey at tight end, so they're pretty set. But you can't have too many receivers. And Debo Samuel with Patrick Mahomes? That would just be so fun to watch. Next up, I have the New Orleans Saints. And like the other two teams on this list, they desperately need receiving help. Now, unlike the other two teams, they have Michael Thomas, a true number one receiver. But he can be injury prone. And also, they have two first round picks this year. I would rather have Debo Samuel for a first round pick than any rookie. We don't know how they're going to turn out. Plus, they can send one to the 49ers and have another to use to fill the void that Terran Armstead left. It's perfect for the Saints. Next up, I have the Indianapolis Colts. They also need a receiver. You'll find this is a trend on teams that need a receiver.
because it's a list of teams that might be trained for a receiver. Anyways, the Indianapolis Colts need a number one receiver, honestly. I don't think Michael Pittman is that. I think he's a number two option, but at least they need number two receiver. Debo Samuel's obviously a number one receiver. Plus, Debo wouldn't have to worry about being used in the run game because they have Neon Hines and, more importantly, Jonathan Taylor. Next up, I have the Philadelphia Eagles. Because they, again, have two first-round picks, and they could use a number two wideout to Devonta Smith. Now, he would become the number one wideout. But Devonta Smith and Debo Samuel, Jalen Hurts can throw the ball to? That would just be so great all around. And again, Eagles have two first round picks this year and two next year. So one first round pick to the 49ers. They're not wasting that much of their draft capital. Last up, I have the Atlanta Falcons. Because Calvin Ridley is kind of suspended, so they need anyone, anyone in that receiving group. And Debo Samuel would be great. Now, out of all of the teams, this is the one I like the least, given that the Falcons should use their draft capital elsewhere. They shouldn't be wasting it on trades. But... It would be interesting to see Marcus Mariota, Kyle Pitts, Debo Samuel, and Calvin Ridley when he returns. So, we'll see. All in all, though, I think Debo Samuel will return to the 49ers. But he has taken the biggest step out of the Big Four drafted in 2019. The others are being semi-mature. At least DK is being mature. The other two are kind of holding out, but at least not going full on. Anyways, thanks for watching.